Hey everybody, Roke here, back in uh, Star Trek Online, and today I wanted to just go over bridge officers, since um, that seems to be something a lot of people as well have been having questions about. Like, somebody will get a bridge officer and not entirely know what they do, so <clears throat> we're going to go over that now. Now, to see your bridge officers, I always press K on the keyboard, it's just habit for me. Um could click on I don't even remember one of these buttons over here this one and it'll bring up this page as well and you can just hit uh, your officers now these guys come with you on away teams unless you're in a team and you can also uh, change out what their gear is and stuff like that so you can do what I did I, I actually put uh, reputation gear on my guy he doesn't have his weapon though for some reason which gear is this I think it's adapted. Yeah, so let's give him a shotgun. I think somebody else is using it though, but there you go. Have that. Um, <clears throat> so with that said, you know, you can put stuff on them. They come with you on away teams and stuff, but sometimes they don't, they don't always be, they're not always assigned automatically to your away team. So to do that, you click on stations right here. And see, I have them put in stations here for my ship, and you can also put uh, shuttle stuff if you got a shuttle. But down here is my away team. So I've got uh, two tactical officers, an engineer, and a science officer. So science officers healing, engineers trying to keep us alive, and three tactical guys, me and two others, killing stuff. Yeah, it's okay. So um, over here, this also reminds me. You have you can have open slots and stuff like that. This uh, would be helpful to always have a few open slots when you're a pretty much a free to play member. You'll get the slots eventually from leveling up. Everybody gets that, but um, I get the whole 500 a, a month Zen for free for being a lifer. So. I use that occasionally to buy extra things. So if you ever get some Zen, be sure to buy you some extra slots just in case so you can get you some new officers. So you don't have to get rid of any of your old ones if you don't want to. Now, <clears throat> the main question people seem to have is you might hear, you know, this certain duty officer, it can do this though. Why would you keep um, the duty officer you have that doesn't do anything? Well, that's a good question because some of these duty officers are very rare some of them are well I don't know if I have any others here we go some of them are just rare so you gotta keep an eye out for that because I think the officers you start off with one of them is very rare and the other one is like an uncommon so um, you wanna always look out for very rare uh, bridge officers too just like duty officers because they actually do a lot better stuff now Say you wanted to know what that certain officer can do. So I'm going to click on Foster here with the goofy haircut. Yeah, goofy. So let's go to his passives. This tells me everything that he can do for his stats because of based on what I put on him. Um, let's go to that's progress. That's for nothing important. That's for his skills, but he's already promoted to the highest rank he can possibly be right now um, so if you want to know what it takes to get your guy leveled up again it doesn't really matter all you gotta do is fill some of these up and promote it'll tell you when you can promote him plus it's down here as well <coughs> go to passives and this will tell you what his passives are for some reason they're not showing on him or any of these guys that is weird Okay, so they got a couple bugs still going in the game. This will tell you what his actual skills are. And stiff. So, since they're not going to show me his passives, I'll just do it this way. Maybe. No. Nope, not at all. Well, what the hell, game? You're upsetting me. Why can't I see his passives? I know he's got passives. I've seen them. Um, some human passives have the ability to, uh, have this thing called command or something like that, and it'll help you, um, command your officers and stuff like that a little bit better, I guess. I, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it'll show right here. Yeah, here we go. 
Okay, so I've got a uh, candidate here to go on my ship, but I don't want to take him because he's not a very rare. So, yeah, he's sitting over here waiting to get drafted, so to speak. Let's do that. Let's go to info, see if it'll tell us. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so they're not showing the passes over here in this list, so I'll just show you here. Um, space abilities, leadership, that's the one. Space trait inspires your crew, your ship crew, leading to faster subsystem and hull repairs. So your hull will, repair, will have a regeneration um, boost, like right here. So you get plus 0 0.08 hull regeneration total, but in combat it's 0 0.03, out of combat 0 0.05. Plus 20 starship subsystem, the subsystem repair. So that is a ugh, damn it. That is a passive. Okay, that's what I meant to say. That is a passive ability. Now all of my officers have passive abilities, but the game's glitched because they like to update it all the damn time and not fix what's in it. Um, so it's not going to let me show you what their passives are. So. Sorry about that, but that's just an example. Eventually, when they fix that, um, I'll be able to show you. You'll be able to see your own passives, is what I mean. But yeah, this 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 is the the damn hit. That's this guy. Okay, Jesus, ground abilities. Now he's got ground um, passives as well. Let's go, like teamwork, team exploit damage, and basic luck, which is plus critical hit and exposed chance. Uh, superior covert uh, stealth and exploit damage and then it goes into other stuff what all the other stuff he can do so yeah that's their passives so always look out for the passives and stuff it's it'll be a lot easier since it's not glitched here well it's glitched here but it's not glitched in the exchange so if you go to the exchange you'll be able to find this stuff pretty easily um, <clears throat> So when it comes to putting them on your ship and stuff, it's a simple click and pick the person that you want. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for bridge officers. Um, other than, you know, they have their certain abilities and stuff. Now, like I said before, you can train your bridge officers as a captain. So, like, say I wanted to train him in something. Uh, I would go to... Let's see. I know there's a button I can click. Hmm. Is that broken too, or is it here? Yeah, here it is. You go to, like, say Foster, uh, Status, and then you go to Train. You go to Under Career Options down here. Click on Train, and if you have a certain ability that's like, say you use Torpedo High Yield 3 a lot, um, you can train them in that. Or Tactical Team 3, this is stuff I can train them in. If you... Uh, skill your captain up like in the previous video if you skill your captain up in different things than I did you might not get these abilities you you might just get different ones so yeah that's these there's a the ground ability uh, let's just do space I don't know why these are even in here he's a tact I'm a tactical captain they should just leave that in there take that off that off and that off okay so these are the abilities I can train my guys as of right now which doesn't seem like much but it's it's good like I can do attack pattern on Mega 3 which is really good since I actually fly that a lot um, cannon rapid fire 3 and dispersal pattern beta 3 so I can put the this skill in the commander slot and this skill in the lieutenant commander slot if you're wondering what that is it's pretty cut and dry it says it right here so that's the commander slot this is Lieutenant Commander. Now let's, uh, I'm going to head down to Earth Space Dock and head to the trainer so I can show you um, why that matters because, well, I'll just tell you in a second. Alright, so I made it. Um, if you don't know where this is, it's in the place that's right in front of uh, Captain, or Admiral Quinn's office, which is right here if you look on the map. So, Transporter pads here, come outside, come down th this way at the ramp a little bit, and then take a left. You'll see a waterfall right there, go around the back, and underneath the stairs. Well, underneath the overhang, I guess, what are you going to call it? And you'll come talk to this guy, Bridge Officer Training. Now, with Bridge Officer Training, you'll click that. Let's say you wanted to train a science officer 
in a commander ability. So you got Viral Matrix 2. Okay, Viral Matrix 2, uh, Photonic Shockwave 2, and Gravity Well 2 is better than uh, Viral Matrix 1 and so on and so forth. Gravity Well 1, and yeah, Photonic Shockwave 1. So, what you really want is to try your hardest to get that main ability that you use the most into uh, the commander slot because more than likely the commander slot is going to be an ability like as you can see the list gets smaller and smaller the most well used abilities like viral matrix photonic shockwave and gravity well 2 for science officers is down here that's the best that they will give you now you can find these in like Photonic Shockwave 3, Viral 3, and Gravity Well 3 from uh, if you're a science officer and you can get the abilities from your skills you can also find other people out in the world that will gladly uh, sometimes for free train your bridge officers for you if you don't have the ability to do that yourself like yeah like I said as you can see the list gets smaller and smaller there's less and less things that you can train people in because they made it to where you can only put the really really special abilities in the commander slot so what you want to try and do is make make it to where whatever you put in the commander slot is going to be something that's you know that you really use often so like say I use I use all the time um, attack pattern Omega because it helps me get out of tractor beams and it helps me get out of um, situations where pretty much they shut my engines down or something of the nature. I'll still be able to move regardless. And which includes, um, what's it called? Engineering stuff. Uh, no, not space science, space engineering. Pretty sure it'll be right here. No, next one. Here we go. Eject warp plasma. Now, if somebody ejects warp plasma on me, or you, more than likely your ship is going to stop unless you're using hazard emitters or um, something like uh, attack pattern omega because attack pattern omega can get you out of that situation pretty fast and so can hazard emitters. Hazard emitters pretty much deflects everything off your uh, hull and your shields and all that fun stuff that keeps you going. So yeah that's pretty much that if you want to know more about these abilities all you gotta do is hover your mouse over them and it'll tell you exactly what it does extend shields um, system shields extend shields regenerates the shields of the target ally which you can target allies and improves their damage resistance increases its effectiveness based on current shield power level so if your shield power level is super high you're pretty much um, transferring your shield power to them think that's what that says that's what I'm interpreting anyways boarding party for instance boarding party launches up to three assault shuttles at the target pending uh, you have enough crew so depending on how much crew is alive and not in the infirmary or dead um, you'll be able to see that at the bottom of your screen on your um, little shield indicator it tells you how much health you got and how much shield you got I'll show you that in a second once I'm done here um, shuttles can be destroyed by foes if they arrive safely they can cause damage to the ship's crew and subsystems. They can kill enemy crewmen, disable the ship's sub subsystems, and increase the recharge time of enemy bridge officer abilities. Each shuttle launched removes 10 crew from your ship who will attempt to beam back upon completing their mission. Okay, so what these guys do, I'll show you. This is just an example of something you can train your bridge officer right here at this guy. Come on. Come on. Today, Junior. Oh, All these new updates are coming out with slows everything down for the loading, screen, loading screens. So, yeah. Here's my ship. Here's my uh, shield strength right now. Full, 100%. Good to go. Here's the name of my ship. It tells me my crew, my repair rate. And then it tells me uh, right here is my actual crew if you don't really want to put your mouse down here and read how much crew you got I got 800 so say I came under attack you'll see this number start to dwindle and the ones that are injured are gonna highlight uh, I think it's orange 
and then uh, it'll end up dropping all it can drop all the way down to here so you can end up having like five people r running your ship I've seen it but it's not pretty so you could end up being really really slow and sluggish and your weapons won't recharge it as fast as they were stuff like that minor things and they they also repair your repair your subsystem so say you're losing a bunch of crew and your weapon power drops down to here it's going to take it forever to climb back up to where you had it versus if you had a full crew um yeah i, th I think that's it for bridge officers I mean, you can change their outfits and stuff like that, just like you can your captain. They can't wear everything. They can wear most stuff, just not everything. Like, they can't wear kits, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I th I'm pretty sure that's it. So, if I did leave anything out, please leave a comment below and ask me any questions. I will answer them. Um... Like and subscribe if you like what you saw and uh, want to see more. I'll be putting up uh, more Star Trek videos here and there to kind of help new players along and everything. It's pretty much what me and everybody else in my fleet like to do. So if you feel like joining our fleet, email me at uh, Roken7, Roke at Roken7. Uh, let's see if I can pull up an email. Let's see. Me? Maybe. No. I'll just type it in fleet or officer right here it should just go ahead and say it booty boo okay yeah there it is this is what you email to people you can send it to special characters or you can just do at broken seven that'll be me right here so you can just character at handle or just at handle and then ask me any questions in the game if you want to join the fleet let me know anything but that's all for now like I said like and subscribe if you want to see more or you can just do the hassle of looking up my videos and all that fun stuff. Leave me hanging. No subscribers. See how it is. And anyways, see you guys later.